Hi guys, this is going to be your weekly energy reading for the week of December 9 through the 15. Um, I'm going to be working with the Sacred Destiny Oracle, the Angel Answers, and the Rider Waite Tarot. Um, I figured if you had a certain question about your week, like how something is going to transpire or is something worth my time? Like some the kind of a question like that, this would be a really good reading to kind of ask that because of the Angel Answers deck. So if you're looking for like a time frame or whatnot, this might be where you'll get some guidance regarding it. Okay, so we're going to talk about the Earth signs first. So my Earth signs, you guys got the Five of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, No Need to Worry, and power. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So my earth signs, you guys have a really good week. One, you have a powerful week and you're being reminded by the angels to not worry. There is nothing to worry about this week. You guys, you guys have it really good. Um, nothing to worry about financial wise, especially with that nine of pentacles coming up. You guys are feeling good. The bills are paid. You guys are, some of you might even get some, some random money that you didn't think you were going to see. Um, some of you guys might be seeing an increase in pay or just finding money on the floor for some of you, like literally, or yesterday I found, or the other day I found a scratcher and I won 15 bucks off of it. So <laughs> little things like that can happen. And I feel like that's going to be the week for you guys, but there is a five of wands coming through. So there is a little bit of pushback and I don't know if this has to do with you and dealing, you dealing with someone else. Um, there could be a little bit of an, an argument between you and another person. You are in competition with someone or feeling like you're in competition with somebody. Sizing yourself up to other people, perhaps. Um, but I feel like with that no need to worry card, it's kind of telling you like, it's not a big deal, you guys. Like, don't make it more than what it is. And then the power card, like using the power of the competitiveness, I feel, the power that you feel within yourself when you feel like you're sizing yourself up to other people, you know how it kind of gives you some somewhat of a boost of faith, a boost of energy to do more and to do better. Use that power for a positive thing. Like, don't waste it on the energy of sizing yourself up to people all the time. Use it to boost yourself to make magic happen this week like to get shit done and do something really really good for yourselves so use it to your advantage earth signs you guys are going to have a good week air signs we have ten of cups the world recovery and going forward wow air signs you guys are you're you guys are hitting that finish line for sure going forward and the world card some of my air signs, you know, this is really achieving something. You guys are achieving a project that you've been working on. You were achieving some sort of a goal this week. Um, you're finding yourselves gaining happy endings, like literally coming full circle with that world card energy. Anytime the world pops up, it's just saying there is a completion of some sort of cycle. There's a completion of some sort of thing that is going on in your life is this a relationship ending in a, for a positive though I feel like you're recovering from that or recovering from old habits there's something there for my air signs that you guys are really like you're really seeing yourselves come full circle with this um and I feel like it's going to actually open up the pathway for you to move forward and that's really exciting to go forward it's going to give you the courage it's going to shine light like that yellow brick road that you're kind of seeing it's shining light it's like giving you permission to move forward you guys um beautiful cards and then the ten of cups this to me this is like emotional renewal that's what i'm hearing emotional renewal um i'm also hearing kind of like your relationships with people are just on the up and up. You guys are just vibing with everybody. Um, you might be feeling like that togetherness, that camaraderie with your friends and family. Um, so this is a really solid and a good week for my air signs. You guys are you guys are good. Um, you worked really hard <laughs> to get to where you need to be. So those of you who are completing some major milestones this week, celebrate. That world card is like you've achieved it, you've earned it, okay? Good job, you guys. Um, my fire signs, we have death, the five of cups, improving health, and protection. So some of my fire signs are coming out of something crazy. 
You guys are coming out of something. That death card and that five of cups, some of my fire signs, you guys need to let it go. You, you need to let it go. Something that is bothering you, a recent breakup, a recent crack in some sort of friendship or, or some like something happened with that five of cups and there's regrets. But I feel like in order for you to move forward and to allow that shift, that change, that death card to really like open up that new door of opportunity for you guys, you guys, let, you, you got to let some stuff go. <laughs> you got to let some of those grudges go. Improving health is telling me you guys really need to watch out for yourselves. Watch out for yourselves. Um, especially if this is a situation that involves another person or people watching out for yourselves, improving one's health, and then protection too. Protecting yourself, your energy, your mind, your spirit, your body, your soul. Um, my fire signs, like, I feel like you guys, you, you guys get hit back and forth, you know? <laughs> like, sometimes you're, you're really good and powerful, and you're like, putting up a facade that everything's good and I'm good and I'm powerful and this and that. But deep down on the inside, I feel like there's there's just times for going in deep within. There's hermit mode for a lot of you right now. And I feel like that's what that five of cups is saying. Like some of you guys are running low on your energy and you really need to focus. You got to let some stuff go. Let some people go that are no longer resonating and invite that change let those endings happen. There's nothing wrong with seeing, saying goodbye and moving on from something that is just no longer resonating for you guys. Um, I feel like also as you walk through this shift, this change, the improving of health will be a good thing for you. You'll start to see yourselves feeling better. Your immune systems will be much more stronger. Um, so I feel like there's just something you got to shake right now, whether it's a person, a habit, a place, an environment that is not doing you good right now, move on from it. Water signs, last but not least, water signs, we have the seven of pentacles. We have the devil, which is funny because I pulled him from me yesterday. And we have be assertive and courage. So water signs, you guys are being asked to step up. You guys are literally with the be assertive and courage card, you guys are asked, being asked to step up. It is a time to utilize your, your voice. Um, water signs are often... Sometimes we can be walked on, we can be walked all over because we're the softies, right? We're the softies in the group. But this week, you guys really need to utilize your voice. Um, use your courage within to step forward. Um, it could be for yourself. It could be on, and on behalf of someone else. Um, that seven of pentacles, don't let idle hands, like what is that quote, right? Um, that, that <laughs> when you're feeling like you're procrastinating, you're bored, you're not going to get much stuff done, there's temptation there, okay? So my water sign, some of you guys might be tempted to fall into old habits. You might be tempted to fall into old um, toxic ways of thinking. Some of my water signs deal with toxicities, it, whether this is people, people that you keep as company, or people that you turn to when you're feeling a little lonely, um, some of my other water signs may deal with substance abuse. Some of you guys might deal with eating issues. Like I have, I can have emotional eating issues for sure. Um, some of us deal with just, we have bad habits, nasty bad habits. And I feel like that's what this is saying is like, if you, if you're not sticking up for yourself, you're not utilizing your voice, you're not being courageous, you're not stepping forward and you're allowing idle hands. You're allowing yourselves when you're just kind of like, you're not feeling motivated. Maybe you woke up that morning and you just feel really like lazy and you feel unmotivated or you feel that little rain cloud moving in like you're just feeling a little depressed that's when the devil steps through right that's when the the temptation comes through when you guys will start finding yourself spiraling down back into old habits or old ways of thinking or you know things that will kind of take a grasp on you and it won't allow you to get shit done it won't allow you to be um, productive for the week or the day and I understand sometimes we do need a break sometimes we need to allow ourselves the time to rest and to, you know, relax and go in hermit mode. But my water signs, these cards are kind of telling you, they're warning you that this stuff can happen this week. You may have a downer of a week, but are, they're warning you, be courageous for one thing. And then they're also warning you to be assertive for the other. Don't let other people walk all over you, you guys. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. Have a beautiful week and I will see you next week for the next energy reading. Bye loves.